What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to upload videos directly to YouTube using Vegas Pro 15. Just before I get into this video, be sure to go ahead and follow me on Instagram, follow me on Snapchat, and also follow me on Twitter. And as always, if this tutorial does help you, be sure to hit the like button, and if you haven't already, subscribe for more tutorials. Now currently on screen you're seeing my raw edited version of the video I uploaded earlier this week which was how to create videos for Instagram TV using Vegas Pro 15. If you want to check that out a link to it will be in the description. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is double click above your video so you can see these two yellow dots are highlighted in between everything you want to render and upload to YouTube. For those wondering, these are known as loop regions, so just make sure you have selected everything you want. Now for the tutorial, I'm only going to be selecting a smaller portion, simply because otherwise it'll take too long to do the whole process. So I'm just going to select this little bit here, which is about 25 seconds. So now I've selected all of that, what I'm going to be doing is coming up to file, and from file, what we want to do is select share online. Now you can see it does say upload to YouTube. So you're going to select that. From here just give it a title, give it a description and of course tags. So you can see tags comma separated. So for example the way you would type your tags I'd put IGTV comma space and then maybe Instagram comma space and then uh, you just keep going on like this until you've put the tags you wanted. Also, I'll just copy and paste the title to the description so we can see that it does work in the end. You can see we then get broadcast options. I would recommend you put it to private the first couple times you do this, just so you know it does work and it is reliable. Then the render quality, again, always recommend go higher, the quality is always the best. And render and upload loop region only. So like I mentioned earlier, these are them yellow dots we put up and I'm going to tick that. As you can see, the length has now changed to 24 seconds. It does give the estimated upload file size at three megabytes. And now all I'm going to do is select upload. So from there, this is going to be uploading directly to YouTube. And once it's done, I'll be back with you. So as you can see, the rendering is now completed. This pop-up will now appear. And of course, it's going to be asking us to log into our YouTube channel. Of course, without this, you're not going to be able to upload it to YouTube. Now, I know someone in the comments is going to be saying or thinking that this isn't trustworthy simply because it's not directly from YouTube's website, it's actually going through Vegas. If it's not trustworthy, then I wouldn't be doing it myself. So I have put in my real details, of course. I'm logging into the Casual Savage account. So if I didn't think it was real, then I wouldn't be doing this. So I have selected my account. You can see we are now at this stage. Magix then would like permission to manage your YouTube account. You can see if you press this I, you will get more information. And by clicking allow, you do give the app permission. You can always uh, cancel their permission later on directly from Google. Then you can select allow. And just like this, it's now going to be uploading to YouTube. So as uh, you saw earlier, it is going to be uploading as a private video. So once this is completed, then I'll bring up YouTube and show you. Now, one thing I do want to show you very quickly, you can see the video is still uploading, but I have pulled up YouTube on my second monitor and you can see the video has appeared on YouTube. So you can see Vegas now says upload complete. That has closed out of it and it's brought up my usual browser. Uh, that's Mozilla, I'd never use that though. So here it is. You can see there is the video um, and it's up. It is a private video as we wanted it to be. And if I come to edit, we should be able to see uh, we have the correct uh, title we picked. We have the correct description we picked. Of course, Creative with Vegas Pro, they added that themselves clever little plug there so make sure you either keep or remove it it's up to you and then of course we have the tags um, Vegas Pro they added themselves it may be beneficial for you uh, in my case this would be for the tutorial because of course the tutorial was on Vegas Pro now, of course opening up the video I'll just mute it you can see audio has worked but you cannot you can also see that quality has turned out great as well you can see has gone all the way up to 1080 FPS. 
So no problems with the quality and no problems with the upload. It was super quick and of course, super simple. But that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully this has helped you. As always, be sure to go ahead and follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, and of course, add me on Snapchat. And if this tutorial has helped you, don't forget to leave a like and smash that subscribe button.